what we got let's bring up again our contract window it is the sentinel have the sentinel infrared telescope on the vessel so if i go into science here uh the sentinel oh i guess i gotta start off with a pro body so let's throw which one this one or is it this one? No, the smaller one. Let's throw that there for now and then get the Sentinel Infrared Telescope. That is this fellow right here. We're not going to do any science. I'm not interested in the science because that's been done. I'm just interested in fulfilling the contract. So that is the first part of this, is to make sure you have that part. Reach the designated orbit in, uh, around the sun with reasonable deviations, and it gives us the apoapsis, periapsis of this orbit. As I mentioned, this is just outside of Eve's orbit. It's not that bad to get to. I did the math, and from low Kerbin orbit to insert myself into this orbit, I budgeted 1,440 meters per second, which really isn't all that much. And then once I've activated it, it's got a map five asteroids. So that's really kind of like the whole thing here. So why don't I get rid of this? And we'll look at what else to kind of put towards this. Now I do have a lot of um, new parts uh, and, and parts I'm not that used to actually getting to because usually when I get at the end of the text tree is my signal to just go and start a new career with a different batch of mods but one thing I do have is this MTM stage uh, let's throw that under here in fact that means I don't need okay let's throw it under here make it the root part because it means I don't need this pro body anymore so we'll throw that under there so this because this in itself, this MTM stage, is also a um, is also a pro body. It has reaction wheels, and it also I can get it to stay there. If I scroll down, has if I scroll down, four thousand units of electric charge, which is a lot, and three thousand eight hundred units of xenon gas. And as soon as I saw that, I went, oh, I'm going to make this thing an ion drive thing. The Xeon gas is the propellant that's used for the ion drives, the electric drive. So I'm gonna go over here, grab me my ion drive, which is right here, the IX-6315 Dawn electric propulsion system. And we're gonna chuck this under here. And I do want to get a reasonable, we might clean this up a little bit, but a reasonable amount of uh, of uh, thrust out of this because I might use this as well to do the upper part of my orbital insertion around Kerbin. So uh, let's look at the delta V right now. It says 395 meters per second, but that's because it's on sea level and that ion drive is just terrible at sea level. And you can see as soon as I do this, I have 1,600, um, 16,000, sorry, 610 meters per second of delta V. Remember my budget is from LKO to final insertion is only four, about 1,400 meters per second. Might add about another 1,000 to deal with the top part of the insertion. So I'm only looking at getting around 2,400 meters per second at Delta V. So right off the bat, I'm just gonna take out most of this xenon gas and really bring this this down to in around the 2,400. There, that, We'll do that for now. The other thing I'm noticing is, uh, well, that's not, bad for the thrust but I wouldn't mind if this is going to do the upper part of the insertion to get more thrust though notice there are four nodes down there on the bottom so I can actually go like that look at that I can actually go with four nodes that's now about 2,000 meters per second 0.51 for thrust to weight ratio again I can take out some of that xenon gas that's too much yeah we'll leave it around there that's a lot that like really this is about it now the one thing you do have to worry about when it comes to um, the ion drives is if I take a look at them, they use up a lot of electricity. Uh, here it is here. Electric charge, they use up 8.74 units of electric charge per second. And if I multiply that by four, because I have four of them, that's going to get me about 35 units of electric charge per second. And remember, there's 4,000 on there right now. If I divide that into 4,000, as I put around on my calculator, it's going to use up that 4,000 units of electric charge in about 114 seconds. So let's see, if I divide that by 60, 
that's going to be about two minutes. So if my burns are more than two minutes, I'm gonna get myself into trouble. I just wanna do that math just one more time just to make sure, 8.74, I should have done this ahead of time, four divided into 4,000. Yeah, divided by six, uh, yeah, it's about two minutes. I got about two minutes of propulsion, so it will bleed these dry in about two minutes. So I think, let's see, how much do I wanna, I wanna get, let me, let me give myself a target. So again, 8.74, times four is about 35 units of electric charge per second. Let's, what's the longest burn I might have? Let's go five minutes, times five minutes, times 60. Yeah, I'd like to get in around the 10,000. So what we'll do, go into here, and that's another 4,000. Now that's a 2.5 meter part though, isn't it? Yeah, I don't wanna do that. So let's get into the 1K battery banks. We'll take this off. One, two, three, four, six. So now I got 10,000 units of electric charge. Absolutely no problem. We'll be able to run this, uh, no issues whatsoever. Uh, 1690 meters per second delta V. Um, that will be fine and uh, yeah, that'll work out really well. Now I do between burns have to recharge these up So I'm just going to get I think I can keep it simple Let's hear here they, these one by sixes. We'll just throw these on here a Pair of those I don't have a huge plan for <laughs> what exactly this is going to look at but look like but I think I think this will do it this has got uh, wheel authority it does so I think all that's gonna be fine you know what I might just do so there's just something about this I don't like I know I made the thumbnail but now I'm like looking at my thumbnail going I'm not sure if I like my thumbnail get there Ah, why is that? Okay, well, we'll tuck that up there. Oh, shoot. Just kind of slide those up inside a little bit. Oh, they're clipping a little too. I don't like that. Oh, well, whatever. We'll live with that. Okay, and then we'll see if we can put four of these on here. Not going to like that, so we're going to get our good old friend, the cubic octagonal strut, because you can stick these anywhere. Go for six of these, four of these. This is all done. They would have worked fine on the top, but this is really an aesthetic choice now. Do I have a different texture on those xenons? I don't, so. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Oh, getting out the engine plate. Yeah, yeah, we could use the engine plate too. I always forget the engine plates. But I think the engine plates are more mass than... Uh, what do we got here for a 1.25 meter engine plate? It's not... Yeah, it is that one. That's uh, 62 kilograms compared to the four kilograms I just put on just now. I think I'm gonna stick with what I got. I think it's gonna work. Oh, but the engine plate gives me a yes. Peoples are right. Oh shit. <laughs> I need the battery back. Uh, the engine plate gives me a node to connect to. Thank you. I don't know. You know, it's so funny because I got so used to working around not having engine plates and then once they finally gave us engine plates I just started forgetting about them. So you're right, let's go to the engine plate. Engine plates under coupling, this one on the bottom it goes. We will go to the, do do do, where is it? I don't care about the color, there it is. Attach nose, we'll go to four of those. Instantly better. But what's nice about this is this gives you the other attachment node, right? Let's see it. There. That gives you another attachment node. That's to... We need a short one. Yeah, about there. That looks good. Okay. 
Now we can put these back on. Just two of them will do. They really don't need it. I also need uh, an antenna. And what will serve me well is this guy, the HG-55 antenna. Only need one. See what this looks like when it's extended. You could go with that, or restock gives me a variant. I might go with this one. Oh, I like that. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Like honestly, this is. So what do we got? We got 1561 meters per second of delta V. That should be good. We have a thrust to weight. Actually, those two can go together. We got a thrust to weight ratio of 0.4. Yeah, it should be okay. Might want to build a little bit of a beefier booster, so get a nice boost. And I honestly think I'm about there. Maybe some lights, and that's going to be it. I'm just looking for variants. Should I go? I oh, know. I like. I like the. Uh, Keep the flag on there. Yep. Yeah, we're good. Okay, lights, 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 lights. Whoops. Back. Lights, lights, lights. We'll use a single light right here. Color it white or gray? White. And that light's just to light up our flag. Just like so. Okay, it needs to come in a little bit. Money out. Maybe down a little bit. So this won't blink or anything. It'll simply be. Oh, I can see it needs to come down even further. I can see. Well, oh, shoot. You. Down. There we go. So it'll light up our flag nice. And then we'll put some blinky lights on here. Light off. Okay. Blinky lights, blinky lights. Let's see. Um, what if I go to the mirror symmetry? I think that kind of works like that. Yeah. Roll them a little bit. And gray, yeah, gray works best. Uh, go for a bit of an amber on them. Half second blink period. Put the blink on. Okay. And then repeat. Yeah, this isn't going to be too long of a build, I don't think. Out a little bit. Oh, it needs to roll a bit. I can see that. There we go. Okay, and then probably kind of the same thing on the back. Maybe just a single symmetry right, right here. Grab a fresh one. Like that. Same idea. So that, that one's just looking fine already, so. We've got complaints about a lack of blinky lights. My last couple of rockets, so gotta put on some blinky lights. Okay, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think this is going to work. All right for me, just like that. Okay, so this is the the Sentinel. I'm just gonna call it that. Sentinel, Sentinel. That's it. Save that. Uh, let's see. Well, um, I'm only looking at how much mass we got here. 
about two tons. Shouldn't be too much to lift. So we'll put a fairing around all this. Well, the decoupler first. Oh no, I don't need the decoupler because of that, right? So the fairing. There we go. Uh, 1.25, I think, should do it. Let's, uh, can I remove the shroud on this? Yes. Just don't like that. Build the fairing. Make sure I get around the There we go. Uh up the sides, up the force, clamshell deploy like so. So really I am looking at about I've got fifteen. I'm just looking at the whole budget. Um Probably another 1800, we'll give it a go. Let's see. I'm hoping I can just keep this really small. I don't think it needs too much. Uh, swivel, swivel, swivel. Oh, I'm still on mirror symmetry. That's what's making it goofy. Okay. Uh, bump, bump, bump. No, what am I thinking about with 2,000? Um, more like 3,000 on just this stage. So a little bigger. Is my TWR good? My TWR is great. So, let's see. Maybe, maybe this guy. Maybe another one of these. Ah, I'm going to go with that. TWR should be enough, I think. Go to sea level. Yep, just enough, but it should be okay. Um, I could always... Yeah, I think it'll be alright. Um, ba -bum -bum. What if... Again, I'm just thinking of aesthetics now. That. That. Get a set of reaction wheels in there. Set of tail fins. Da -da -da, little small ones. Well, we'll do it. I think these guys have a darker variant too. Uh, do I want to play? Oh, there. There we go. I like it. I like it. Down we come. So my total budget, 14 plus 36, is 5. Feels low. I'm, I'm not adding right. 14, 36. No, I need more than this. I need more than this. I certainly do. Yep, yep, yep. I need more. Need more. Okay, so what we're going to just do a slight... Slight adjustment to this plan. We'll put some SRBs on it. I think my math, my mental math there was was failing me. Yeah. Okay. Because all of a sudden I'm going with my 1440, about 3600 to get to orbit. That's like 5000. I and I wasn't anywhere near that, but probably I can just get away now with. Again, keeping her simple. A couple of decouplers. And just a hammer SRBs. There we go. Oops, being funky. Don't be funky. Why are you being funky? I find just pulling it off and putting it back on again does the trick. Oh, that's not quite enough. Yoich. I'm sure it's enough in terms of thrust. Okay, maybe go with three of these. Oh my gosh, why is it being so goofy? Let's try that again. 
there. There. One, two, three. There we are getting into the right ballpark. Mountains and mountains of thrust. Just to be super safe, we're going to go with four of them. Two this way. Two this way. I could probably get away with some sort of probably more efficient ways to do this, but I'm just going with the simple way. Back those back in. Uh, we will fire these guys first, then these, then onto here. Plenty of Delta V, plenty of thrust at launch, right? Oh yeah, so good, okay. Nose cones, nose cones. Should I go with the little slanty ones? Yeah, they look better. I'm not convinced that they, in fact, aerodynamically, they might be worse for all I know, but just looking at look-see, look-sees, okay. Sliding those down. Sliding those down. All I can do is put on an orange stripe. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll make we'll make this work. We'll make this work. Okay, so lots and lots, 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 lots. Okay, action groups. All I want to do is in action group number five, I'm gonna deploy that fairing. That's gonna be it. Action group zero, we're gonna deploy the solar panels and the antenna. That'll be the, when I'm in space. Okay. Yeah, we'll be lowering the thrust of weights on this in just a sec. Full show. I haven't tweaked that part yet. Let's get on some launch clamps. All right. All right, let's uh, tweak thrust of weight. So 1.58, it is these fellas first. Yep, so. Bring that down. 1.38, I'm sure, is fine. What does our second... Oh, that is way too high. 1.22. Especially if I go to vacuum. Uh, more in the maybe 1.8-ish range for vacuum. 1.84, sure. Thrust a weight of 2 on the core stage once that goes. I think that'll all be good. I think we're good. Yeah, let's save it and launch. Save it and launch. It's not like there's any kerbals going on this thing. So if it blows up, it blows up. I got me lots of money. All right, so we're just going to go into an equatorial parking orbit of, let's say, 90 kilometers. So that's the whole thing. So yeah, let's just punch it and see what happens. So go and boom. We are off. We are off. We are off with our little rocket. And then once this thing has done its job, we'll get thinking about rescuing our Kerbal who is in that low solar orbit. Okay. Uh, these, these SRBs are going to run out really soon. We're on to the second set. Drifting just a little bit. I'm going to get the heading right on 90 here. Going up pretty steeply. Unfortunately, I cannot reduce my throttle while on SRB mode. That's okay. Okay, we'll be getting on to the... And there we go. Okay, and I'm going to immediately reduce throttle on that. Keep that apoapsis fairly close by. I'm on a 90 degree heading. I'm happy with that. Scent is fine. Here we go. And uh, yeah, 
I like to keep the apoapsis reasonably close by during the ascent, just reducing my throttle appropriately. I find my ascents are much more quickly. The next sort of stage in all of this is just going to be to deploy this fella. Do that at about 50 kilometers, I would say. Maybe a little higher. It's kind of a funky shaped, funky shaped payload. Switched into orbit mode here. A little more throttle. The rocket is so small, but it's not lifting a whole lot. The payload is uh, is not a lot. Like, you know, the two-ton payload doesn't need, even if it's going to just around Eve's orbit, uh, it's not, that's not that far. Need to capture an asteroid. Any tips? I do have some videos on capturing asteroids. Um, it, there's, there's a bit to it. <laughs> Um, don't forget to take into account the mass of the asteroid. I guess that would be one thing. So it takes about, I usually budget about a thousand. Here, let's, let's deploy this guy. There we go. Uh, I usually budget about a thousand meters per second to get out to the asteroid. Uh, usually it's less coming back because you can um, use Kerbin's atmosphere to aerobrake that asteroid. That's what I usually do with them. Uh, but don't forget that, you know, the mass of the asteroid needs to be taken into account. You can look up based on your class what kind of the range, like just Google it, the range of masses you might get with your asteroid. And then just put on a dummy mass in the VAB. I know it's hard. There's a lot to it. I'll be doing, I do have videos where I rescue asteroids if you want to look them up or recover asteroids. And hopefully within a couple of streams we'll be doing one here. All right, I'm just going to let this kind of ride right now. Apoapsis is at six, just about at 62 kilometers, but my periapsis is climbing nicely, which is what I like to see. That makes the final insertion not, not too big a deal. Again, we're looking at 90 kilometers. Yeah, I, I don't think my tips there were very useful. I'm sorry about that. We can put our lights on. See how they're doing. There we go. Blinky blink. So our flag sort of lit up. Oh, I got the blink. I'm going to turn this one off. Oh, whoa, 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 just a sec. 90. Um, I'm going to turn, I don't like you, uh, light off. There we go. Because it was, it was overpowering the little white one. Okay, where are we at? Okay, so I just got over 90 kilometers on my apoapsis. Almost in space. Periapsis is about 46 kilometers, so it's going to be a very, very tiny little burn. We we almost have an orbit as it is. And I'm going to be able to do the first part of my ejection with this, this booster, so that's going to be awful nice. So my worry about the thrust on these guys was completely unnecessary. Oh, 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 we can do our deployments. Go. Yeah, I was budgeting about fourteen hundred from LKO. Why is this so much lower? Wasn't that wasn't what it was saying in the VAB? Now it's saying thirteen eighty four. I think that's what people are. Uh oh. I'm going to have to go back over the video evidence, but I thought this probe had a lot more delta V than 1,079. Oh, well. Uh, we are going to have to see how we do. Okay. First, though, got to get an orbit. All right, that's that part. Maybe Kerbal Engineer will give me some better information. Oh, I've not set this up at all. 
No Delta V numbers on the vessel. There we go. Oh, Kerbal Engineer is giving me totally different numbers. Okay, I'm going to ignore everybody. We're just going to go for it. <laughs> oh, I don't need... Uh, I'm noticing that one HUD's up there too. Don't need that. Very weird. Kerbal Engineer saying a total of 1823. So maybe it's not so bad. Okay. Anyway, whatever it's going to be, it's going to be because uh, we've... Uh, because I'm pretty sure in the VAB it didn't say 1,079. Anyway, there's our orbit. So our target orbit, and you don't see it unless you're focusing on the sun. There's our target orbit there. Um, so what we need to do, if I come back. Boop, 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 boop. This one. <laughs> is I need to eject myself going in a retrograde direction relative to Kerbin's orbit, which means I need to put a burn about here-ish and go out about this direction. It's going to be a little over a thousand. So you want this ejection. Here we can play with the timing. We want this ejection to be right along Kerbin's orbit out in that way. And, oh, we can center this on the sun again. You can already see I've overdone it, so I need to back off. Back off. Right about there. And to get really the ejection, all you gotta do, sometimes people get into all of these uh, ejection angles and stuff. All you gotta do is look, turn the timing down and then play with the timing and whatever gets you the lowest apoapsis here is going to be the correct ejection angle. That's all there is to it. It's not much. People overthink this sometimes, but you want to get the most efficiency out of this as you can. I can still see it's overdone, so we're going to be backing backing this off a little more retrograde. Again, let's tune in the timing a little bit. That's making it bigger. This is making it smaller. That stopped making it smaller. So about there, a little more prograde, get that periapsis right on the orbit. There it is. So here it is. So without even looking at it, if I come back to here, I know that this is ejecting out right along in the right direction. Anyway, that burn's coming up in just five minutes. It's nice I don't have to wait for any kind of window or anything because I don't have to be, I'm not rendezvousing with anything out there. So what we'll do, let's center it back on the sun again so I can see that orbit. Let's take that periapsis off. All right, uh, yeah, let's do it. And then we'll find out if I do have the Delta V that's required. I think I'll be okay. We'll see. Electric charge is good. Yeah, I did take out a lot of the xenon gas. I forgot I did that. Okay, lock. Oh, I don't have the lock to the, um, this probe body doesn't have lock to the maneuver node. That's okay. I picked it for looks <laughs> and for its xenon gas. To be honest, it might have been easier just to use a better probe body and then just use the xenon gas tanks, but hey, whatever. Hello, Steven. Welcome. Yeah. One of the biggest, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a discussion as far as the contracts go, and I would say one of the weakest elements of this game, and I love this game, I guess that goes without saying, but I will be the first to say that the contracts are weak, but there are a lot of good contract packs out there. I made the decision a while ago, here I gotta do a stage. There we go, off on those little silent ion engines. Uh, but I made a decision a while ago, you can watch from here, to make this stock and not get into mod packs and all that kind of stuff. I do plan on doing another stream at some point in this. I'm not sure how long I'll keep carrying this on for, but at least for a few more streams. At least until we get an asteroid and get some station built, stuff like that. But... Um, there are some very good contract packs out there. I like the SETI contract pack if you really just dislike the stock ones. Uh, there's 
oh, what's it called? Like, uh, Contracts Evolved or Career Evolved or something of that nature. That's a very nice one. The, oh, the Delta V just jumped when I staged? Yeah, the game's confused. <laughs> it's good to see. I can see now I have plenty of Delta V, so that's good. I don't like how it's completely quiet, though. That bugs me. And although in mission time, it's going to take us a while to get down there. In actual game time, it's like play time, it won't be. Because we'll be doing lots of time warping. Tourism Plus is good. Yeah, you can get into Contract Plus uh, packs that sort of deal with specific things. Like Tourism Plus, there's stations and bases. There's uh, giving aircraft purpose. That I think the names kind of give away what they're really kind of about. So if you're more about, I like the excuses to build more planes or I like excuses to build more stations. There are contract packs that'll do that for you. And by the way, many of them are really old, but they'll work. Do not worry about, about that piece of it. Yeah, I'm, I sort of, with the tourist contracts, I'll do some early on because they are a great source of cash. Uh, but once I kind of don't need to do them anymore, I don't tend to do them anymore. I find them... All they really get you to do is repeat stuff you've already done, right? Uh, just doing it with tourists. I don't find that particularly fun. But I'd love to see more more rigorous contract bay. And I was complaining about this at the end of the stream uh, last week. So I don't want to continue to complain about this. You can see our electric charge going down. We're already at about half of the electric charge we started with. So I'm glad I put on those extra batteries. I most certainly overdid it. But it's better that than the other way around. And batteries aren't a whole lot of weight. So I think it's worth it. Oh, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. So it just got... You really just have to eyeball this. If it looks like you're on... Let's get rid of that. If it looks like you're on your target orbit, then that's going to be close enough. There. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Uh, let's make sure solar panels are properly exposed. They are. I believe there's some science you can do with this. I just don't care about the science. Like a log observational data. Oh no, you got to be in orbit about the sun for that to work. So there is a bit of science, but we won't be doing it. But if you were doing this in your own career, you'd want to do that. And then and just simply, uh, at this end, we're going to just do a regular kind of capture. Get this down so it looks about right. And that's about the, that's about the end of it. And by the way... Um, this is more expensive than getting a capture, say, around EVE. Like getting these captures in interplanetary space. Uh, because the planet does help you when it comes to getting a capture. That's why this stupid one here is so expensive. Because I don't even have, like, a dumb... A dumb, uh, a dumb thing like Moho to help me out. Wow, I am not quite in the right spot there. Let's move those two periapsi together. That should do it. A little more retrograde. I, I would say that's about it. I'm going to go for that. So that's coming up in 183 days. It is a 148 meter per second burn. I still got 851 left. So that's not going to be a problem. So let's, let's say goodbye to Kerbin. Get this contract done. Okay, we just switched out of the SOI here. So if you were so inclined, let's put this back in orbit, and you wanted to do the science, you can do here, log and observational data, and you can see there's some science here to transmit. I, I don't care. What I do care about, though, is doing a quick save and getting down to here. So I'm just going to... Uh, it's a two-minute burn. I'm going to go around the sun for a little bit. Just got to get down to here. Hello and welcome. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna. Is it? I, I'm not gonna try it. The name. I'm very sorry about that. I'm bad enough with languages when the alphabet's still the same as mine. All 
All right. And, you know, what ends up happening even in career mode is you get to the point where money isn't really an issue anymore and you can just kind of do what you want. I personally don't find that as much fun. I get the argument. There's always the... There's people I know that love Sandbox and they just simply don't understand why everybody plays... And I, I'm not knocking Sandbox. Where is my contract window plus? There it is. I'm not knocking Sandbox by any stretch of the imagination, but um, not every... I, 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 I like... get. I don't like... I'm not a... I get... I need direction. <laughs> That's what I guess I'm getting at. Okay, so all we gotta do, got 30 seconds to the burn. Just basically just have to burn until I see this contract parameter regarding the orbit go green. And when that goes green, then everything is great. And then we'll turn, don't forget to turn on our, we could probably turn it on now, but I'll wait. 15 seconds. Hello, Scorpion, and welcome. And four and three and two and one and go. Wish there was a little bit of noise with this. Just a little bit. Just a bit. What I do to get to the time to skip, you mean warping to the actual maneuver? There's a little green button here that warps you straight to the maneuver, if that's what you meant there, Scorpion. This little green button here warps you to within one minute before you need to make the burn. You need to start to make the burn. Really handy, quick little button. I can actually do a little bit of physics warping to speed this up a bit. Holding the Alt key. Yeah, I am planning on doing some infrastructure type stuff. Fuel barges and ore refineries and all that. I, I, I'm going to do that after I rescue my Kerbal. That's kind of the plan. Okay, let's kill the time warp. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Cut the throttle. Look, I noticed that I don't know when that happened, but notice how the contract parameter here has gone green. So I've accomplished that. And all I need to do now is map my five asteroids. So I don't need this maneuver anymore. All I got to do is right click on this and start object tracking. And this will happen on its own in the background. And I really just don't need to worry about it anymore.